Now let's look at arithmetic algebra. So a real number is all the different type of numbers that you can think of. So this includes negative numbers as well as zero, and of course all the positive numbers. A rational number is basically fractions such as one half, that integers above the below fraction bar. So for example, we can have one fifth, or 3 seventh, all these kinds of fractions are rational numbers. Now an irrational number is numbers such as pi or the square root of 2 that don't have an exact decimal equivalent. So for, so for some other examples could be the square root of 3 or the square root of 5 and so forth. Now a square root is, for example, if x squared is n, then x equals plus minus the square root of n. Now, the cube root is basically the same thing, but only this time we multiply the number three times. So if x to the power of 3 equals n, then x is the cube root of n. Now let's look at some principles or laws. There are three laws, commutative, associative, and distributive. Now, in, in, now a commutative law is the order in which two numbers are added or multiplied does not matter. So 1 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 1. It doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. An associative law is the order in which three numbers are added or multiplied does not matter say we have 1 plus 2 plus 3. This will equal 1 plus 2 plus 3. Now finally, the distributive law. Now we're going to multiply a number by a sum of two values. You're going to multiply each value in the sum by that number and then add the two products. So this equation becomes 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. So this is the distributive law.